The video of today is brought to you by gvgmall.com. Get your authorized Windows 10 Home Edition serial key for only $13. You can go even further and use my discount code to get 20% discount, making it only $11. The same applies to Office 2019 that you can get for the awesome price of $50. Okay guys, sorry for the delay, but I was working on a Windows update. Hello guys, I should game plays. I'm Fabio Pisco and I'm really happy to bring you a new video today. This video was supposed to be released yesterday, but I'm releasing it today because I wanted to test another build. So I was going to test uh, Windows 10 1803 versus 1903 on my Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 6, <laughs> Ryzen 5 2600 and Vega 56. But then I decided to test also the build with first gen Ryzen's. So Ryzen 7 1700 and the RX 480 overclocked. So about this video and about the Windows uh, 1903 update. So what is about this version and why am I testing it? Well, the main reason why I'm testing it is because AMD released some slides saying that the version 1903 would have some impact on Ryzen's. So the first thing is that the, um, the scheduler on the scheduler, yes, yeah, scheduler on the Windows 10 uh, would be improved to first fill a CCX before sending information to others. So imagine using a game that uses, for example, only four cores, it would uh, work only on a CCX, improving the latency instead of sending, for example, half the information for one CCX and half of the information for other CCX that would cause latency and we also have the latency of the frequency change the clock change the clock signal so reduced from 30 nanoseconds to one or two nanoseconds and believe me that makes a difference but that is mostly for people who use overclock for example on the p-states p-state overclocking or for example that use the cpu at stock with the core boost for example that changes the clock constantly and well, that's it for today's video. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share the video because that really helps a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot and let's now go to the benchmarks. The first game of today is Assassin's Creed Origins. This is a game well known to be CPU dependent and that is exactly why I wanted to test it with this new update. Sadly the results are disappointing, even with the improving CCX feeling, the improved CCX feeling, we can see no improvement between updates. Still at least the update didn't make things worse, which is already a plus in my opinion. Our second game is nothing more, nothing less than Counter-Strike Global Offensive. As most of you know, this is mostly a CPU intensive game, or let's say a CPU dependent game. Of course, it only uses 4 cores and has a pretty old game engine, but that is exactly why I wanted to test it. This, since we have some CCX feeling improvements in this 1903 version. Still, I found the results pretty disappointing once again. I mean, these differences are easily within the margin of error, so I wouldn't even bother with them. <laughs>
Now testing another game where Ryzen 5 2600 struggles in some scenes, Far Cry 5. Once more we see exactly zero improvements from the previous version of Windows, since all results are within the margin of error. Still, it is good to state that this update reduce mostly the latency between clocking states, and since we are using a manual and static overclock, it won't affect the results that much. Or nothing. Moving on. So I go. The last game tested is Dota 2, and interestingly, it was the only game I tested where the difference could be noticed. We have a difference of around 20 average and 5 minimum FPS at 1080p, which is pretty damn good for a software update. At 1440p the difference is smaller, but still great. Well, in terms of performance, more is always better. To finish the tests, I did a small test with Cinebench R15, just to see if there was an effective difference or not. It went exactly the opposite of what I was expecting. I was expecting a mild increase in the single core performance due to the CCX schedule fix. Still, we had exactly zero improvements in the single core department, but strangely, the multi core performance was a bit higher with this new version of Windows. Once again, nothing out of this world, but it is always pretty sweet to gain free performance. So, guys. We've seen the results on the second generation Ryzen, but like I said before, I wanted to test on the first generation. Why? Well, because the, the second generation is not, is not so affected by the, um, by the latencies as the second generation. So in fact, the second generation has way lower latencies, uh, being it memory or cache latencies. The, the latencies are way lower on the second generation and the first generation is way more dependent, for example, on the RAM speeds than the second one. And I wanted to test this CCX feeling uh, update. Um, of course, I installed the chipset drivers for the second and the first generation Ryzen's, so I wanted to test on the first one. Let's see if the first generation Ryzen's get affected or not. The first game tested on Ryzen 7 1700 and RX 480 build is Shadow of War. This game is known to be more GPU dependent, still I know from my own tests that this is pretty CPU dependent too. We can see once again that the difference is practically zero, going from the version 18.03 to the version 19.03. We do have a bit more of 1% lows at 720p, but still it is all within the margin of error. The second game is Rainbow Six Siege, and guess what, yep, once again absolutely no difference. The differences shown are within the margin of error and can't be even called differences, when talking percentage wise of course, being it at 720p or 1080p. The last game tested with this build is CSGO. And the only difference that can be noticed is the minimum FPS increase, but they increased by a very small amount. One more time, no real differences between both versions of Windows. Moving on to the conclusion. Concluding guys, the first generation showed zero improvements, almost zero improvements in terms of performance compared to the previous Windows version. The second generation Ryzen, so my, our, my Ryzen 5 2600 and Vega 56 did show some improvements in some games, a bit on CSGO and kind of a good difference on Dota 2. And that, those were the only games where the difference were felt was felt, sorry, was felt, so um, in other games the difference was almost zero, as always. So, not even this window will save the thing. What I meant with that window joke is that there isn't really that much of a difference be between the earlier version and the new version, not really. Uh, not on Cinebench, not on the first generation Ryzen's, not on the second generation Ryzen's, taking one case or another. Um, what I think 
is that the, the schedule, the CCX feeling and mostly the, um, the clock changing going from 30 nanoseconds to 1 or 2 nanoseconds will indeed affect more the people using P-state overclocking or the people using stock um, stock settings stock settings and using the turbo core or the core boost or whatever that shit is called um, the, for the people using that so if you are using a manual a manual overclocking uh, a manual overclock so if you are using a manual overclock the difference won't be um, noticed at all uh, taking one game or two so you don't need to update to the um, to the latest Windows version to have really really decent performance because well the older version will do it yeah there's not really much more to say guys um, sorry for taking some time to release my videos but well uh, I'm enjoying life like I said before and and well sometimes I I do feel like I want to make more videos but then I don't really I don't really want to record like I'm recording now. Um, I have the test, but I don't feel like recording. But then when I start recording, I do feel like then I really like recording. Yes, I'm a I'm a really strange person. Anyway, well, but that's mostly the reason. Uh, the next video will probably be about uh, Ryzen 5 2400G uh, RAM speed comparison up to 3400 MHz or the Ryzen 5 2400G versus the Ryzen 7 1700 just for the name of the science, the name of the science. Yeah, that's that's mostly it. Um, and after that, we'll have um, a microphone kit review um, from Mars Gaming. And that's not, that's not much more to say, like I said before. Thanks one more time for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, share the video, follow me on my Instagram, follow me on my Facebook, follow me in general um, and also don't forget leave a comment on the comment section and tell me what you think about this video see you in the next one folks